All right, guys, so today I want to take you for an in-depth look at the Born Salty Breakwater 12. This thing's loaded with tons of features that are must-haves on a high-end kayak. And today I want to go over pretty much everything from top to bottom. And yeah, and then eventually we'll take it out and show you what it's like on the water. So first, I want to start by showing you what comes in the box when you order it online and get it delivered right to your house. So to start, guys, your box is going to come with everything from your seat, paddles, pedal drive, and your mounts. All these mounts were specifically packaged with the kayak because Railblazer is pretty much the best in the business. These right here are the paddle holders. You'll get two of those to mount on the side of the kayak. Then you'll get your rod holder with mini port. If you don't want to use a rod holder, that mini port works with all the other accessories which we'll have available on our website. Next, over here, you're gonna get your Born Salty pedal drive. Actually, we call it our fin drive. It's gonna have two extra blades and two extra straps, which is kind of unheard of in this industry, um, getting extras with, <laughs> with your already expensive pedal drive. You got the full pedal drive set up here, and you got your foot pedals right here. Next over here, we got the high back chair. Extremely comfortable on the water. If you uh, are an experienced kayak fisherman, you know what it's like to be sitting in one of those flimsy back seats while fishing. Basically, after 30 minutes, you're in enough pain where you need to get off the water, but you won't have that with this seat. You get tons of back support. Fully adjustable, here are the straps. We'll put that together in just a minute. You got the armrests, which are so nice. And you got the feet that lock into the kayak, so this thing doesn't move around on you while you're paddling. Then over here, we have the aluminum paddle. Comes with every kayak, all our kayaks come fully packaged. But pretty much nothing you need to buy after, unless you want to add a fish finder, of course, or anything like that. But we try to package our kayaks where you can get them and go right out onto the water with no issues. So there we go, there we got all our accessories and everything that we're gonna mount on the kayak. So before we go ahead and put all the mounts on and put the seat on and the pedal drive, just want to show you, these are the ports for the feet of the seat to go into. Basically, you'll wanna put the seat in at a 90 degree angle. They lock right in and you fold the chair back and then these clamps go over the back of the, the chair got port right here which goes down to uh, access for your transducer for your fish finder you can leave that in leave it out here you got more scupper plugs comes with tons of scupper plugs and honestly you don't even need to, <laughs> to leave them in this kayak does not get wet unless you're really rocking around you're in a lot of waves unlike some kayaks that sit extremely low they fill with water if you don't have the scupper plugs in here you shouldn't have the issue. So you got one, two, three, four, five scupper plugs. You got hatch right here. Keep keep any accessories, tools, fishing lures, all that. You have a little opening right here if you can see it, where you can run any wiring. You can keep a battery in here. And then under this box. and do that. Access to inside the hull. Pretty deep access in here. As you can see, we got the EVA foam padding all over the kayak so you can stand, not worry about slipping. Great feature to have. Here we have access to any wiring you want to run through here. Obviously, you can see all the mounts or the mounting tracks along the side of the kayak. Tons of area to mount accessories, paddle holders, anything you really want. We got the two handles for carrying the kayak. Really useful. Two rod holders. Bungee back here access to the rudder. We'll show you the rudder in just a little bit. 
right now this kayak does not have a rudder because we do want to do a video on installing a rudder or replacing the rudder if you need need to access right here with a storage bag great to have and you got a front hatch locks in great storage up front great for actually uh if you're out fishing you can throw your fish in there use it as a as a locker for your fish we got steerage right here rudder control perfect uh perfect position when you're sitting in the in the seat back here we got a nice firm handle these handles are great because they're nice and firm but also you can see there there's a rubber lining on the inside so it's really comfortable to hold you got another one right up here right on the front sturdy handle along with the drain plug yeah nice nice pointed bow tracks extremely well on the water extremely well and as you can see the kayak widens out once you get back you got access underneath and you have a transducer mount under there which we'll get to in a little bit now I'm gonna set my kayak up and show you what it looks like fully loaded Alright guys, so the kayak's fully loaded and ready to go. Check it out. Next video, we're gonna do most likely a rudder install. Then we got a fish finder mounting video. And then we'll be heading out in the water. Here in New York, it's, uh, it's already 30 degrees, so it's pretty cold. 
but we want to do some winter kayaking. We want to get, get maybe do some fresh water. We'll find out the best spots for that. Um, and yeah, we'll let you know. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and head to bornsalty.com for some great kayaks. Thanks, guys.